beloved one, I hope you are doing well. I want us to take a short reading from the book of Psalms, chapter 127. It says, if God's grace doesn't help the builders, they will labor in vain to build a house. If God's mercy doesn't protect the city, all the centuries will circle it in vain. It's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night, toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough. Now God can provide. I want you to see this. It says God can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep. Now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy any time we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy any time we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it. Also, by doing this, you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel. Then, don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section. Hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here. And then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too. You are blessed son. Stay blessed. It is God's desire that among the many things that happen to us that we move from one dimension of grace to another. There are seven blessings that Jesus received in redemption and gave them to the church. It says, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power, riches, honor, and it lists all of them. A complete and a balanced Christian life. Please pay attention. It's a Christian life that has, through the grace of God, accessed all these dimensions. Are we together now? And um, in the last, maybe, the last few months, I've been like, I would call it a spiritual archaeologist. There has been such a renewed passion in my heart to study the church, the ecclesia, to study the body of Christ afresh. This strange entity called the body of Christ. I've had a renewed passion to study the body of Christ and to study the untapped riches, please pay attention, that are locked in in this mysterious entity called the body of Christ. One of the things that I've been sharing with us and we had a revision on that last week is the power of the body. The ability to discern the body. The Bible tells us in a very uncomfortable way how that the reason why there is a lot of weakness in the body the reason why there is a lot of limitation, please listen, in the body, the reason why we are unable to, to, um, to not represent the full dimension of the glory and the power of God is because we have not been trained largely to discern the body and what it represents. First Corinthians 11. Let's just look at that scripture. 1 Corinthians 11. Don't look at the projector screen. Open your Bible. 1 Corinthians 11. If you don't have a Bible, buy one. It's a gold watch setting. Cancel the money for your hair and buy a Bible. Jordan is in front here. It's available. The shop can be opened after Koinonia. We, we buy nonsense. We buy things that don't contribute overall to our spiritual growth and we ignore the things that have life the bible listen jesus himself giving a parable he says the kingdom is like a treasure listen someone had a farm and there was a treasure in that farm but he did not know what treasure he had are we together and he said one found that treasure 
And when he found that this land had treasure, he went and sold what? Every other thing to raise the money to buy that land. So it's worth it to make whatever sacrifice that will give you access. You see, in the spirit, I'm digressing for a reason. Don't major on the minors and then minor on the majors. There are some things when you hold them, other things must follow. Are you getting the point now? So don't chase foolish and mundane carnal things. This one thing, when you get it, other things must follow. For instance, the Bible says, get wisdom. Get wisdom. When you get wisdom, with wisdom comes wealth. With wisdom comes security. With wisdom comes divine direction. So, instead of praying for wealth, praying for divine direction, you cry for wisdom. Are we together now? You, you have to learn that certain things in the kingdom are contained in others. By getting certain major things, you get others too. I'll give you an instance. If the governor of Kaduna State is to come to Zaria, for instance, trying to bring the governor, the commissioner, the emir, is a very foolish thing. Just try to bring the president. Are we together? In bringing the president, every other person down that cheddar must come. Are we together? So when you seek the presence of God, other things follow. When you seek first the kingdom and his righteousness, if you are truly doing that, other things follow. So what you are receiving in Koinonia, listen, I'm saying this because there are people who think we are neglecting certain levels of spiritual growth. You may say, ah, but apostle, why are we not teaching on this dimension and this dimension? What I'm teaching you is a superior dimension. It's a master key. I guarantee you, when you hold it, you will not need to look for other things because they will come. Are we together now? It's very important. Oh God, give me tea. Give me bread. That's the key to frustration. There are certain things when you have, that's the end of it. May you have it in Jesus' name. May God open your eyes to have it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So let's look at 1 Corinthians. I was saying something about the body of Christ. Um, 29 and 30. Thank you. It says, for he that eateth now, he was talking of communion. Right, the Holy Communion, Paul was helping them. Because um, theologically speaking, many of them, you know, the wines those days did not have a system of preserving it like we do now. So after a while, the wine would become alcoholic. And certain people started helping themselves with that alcoholic wine. So communion, that should just be just a shot of it, enough to help you. Certain people in the body of Christ who were custodians, maybe in the welfare department, started going out of the normal context of communion and they were drinking in the house of the Lord. Are we together? So those who think God did not talk about drinking, here it is. It says, For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, unworthily without respect, foolishly without revelation of what it means. It says, Drinketh unto what? Eateth and drinketh damnation unto himself. But then broadly speaking, it says not discerning the Lord's body. So the extended understanding of this is not just the bread and the cup. But that if you do not discern the Lord's body, there is a danger. For this cause, not for many causes. For this singular reason. That God has a body that needs to be discerned for a man to succeed. And the inability to discern that body has produced this. For this cause, how many? How many? It didn't say few. For this cause, the inability to understand this mystery entity called the body of Christ. It says many are weak. The word weak there does not just mean weak like you don't have energy. Trust me. It means weakness in every fashion. It says for this cause, many are what? Sick among you. And many sleep. The word sleep there is the word die. It's God speaking to us. That means somewhere in the body of Christ is a key that corrects weakness. Somewhere in the body of Christ is a key 
that can turn sick people to become healthy. Somewhere in the body of Christ is a mystery that can keep men long. Listen please. There are certain dimensions of spiritual reality that your personal work with God cannot deliver unto you. You have to learn this. Everything is not delivered to you on the platform of your personal altar and work with God. There are certain dimensions of God that only come on account of the corporate release. The, the treasures that come, they are not given to a person. They are only given through a person, but they are for the body. There are certain dimensions of God that will never show up when you are alone. That dimension only comes when believers are gathered together. If believers are not gathered together, that dimension of spiritual activity cannot happen. For instance, if no one man could bring the Holy Spirit to the earth. Are we together? 120 people had to be gathered together. That spiritual formation created the room for the Holy Ghost to come. Are we together now? When the church was being threatened, right? The church was being threatened. The Bible says that they prayed, but they came together. So there are certain levels of persecution that comes upon the church. The prayer of one man cannot stop it. It takes the prayer of a body. And in God's economy, two or more people form the body. One man, there are certain possibilities. He said, where two or three are gathered in my name. Is God helping us, please? One of the things that I really want us to have is spiritual intelligence. Say spiritual intelligence. It is the secret that helps men to do business in God's economy. You have to understand how God's system operates. So, there are treasures locked up in the body. Ah! You know, while I was preparing to come, the Holy Ghost gave me a revelation that touched my heart. And this is what he said. The Bible tells us um, that when Jesus was born, listen, there was a star. Is that true? A star that was shining so bright at the east and the Magi, those we call the wise men, they saw that star and they followed that star and came where Jesus was. Is that true? And then they bowed down and they worshipped him. Now listen. A savior was born on earth. Listen. Who could do a lot of things but there were people who did not know. So on that earth, there was someone who was born. But they could not know. However, certain people decided to pursue and say let's find out. And they found out that savior and it blessed them. Do you know that when Jesus walked upon the earth, there were people who were never healed. I believe they were not interested in healing because in that dispensation there was a man who had the ability to solve their problem. Jesus did not heal every sick person. He healed those who came to him. He healed those who pursued him and sought after him. He didn't just come and volunteer and say, I'm concerned about this, your situation. No. When people were hungry, Jesus said, feed them. And the production of the miracle, Andrew had to come with five loaves and two fish. And Jesus said, okay, you have come to me. He always responded to people's hunger and passion. Let me tell you something. God is not a welfare officer. He responds to faith and a heart that believes. Your coming to God is proof that you know he is, he exists. And then that is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Say amen. Are we together now? Let me have... Um, come. I need the guys. Four or five gentlemen. Please come. Just stand here. Watch this. I want to teach you something very powerful. Stand. Everybody open your eyes, your ears, your spirit. Two more people, please. This is the body of Christ. Listen, this is the body of Christ. Hold this, Patrick. Hold this. You are here, touching every life. I worship you. 
Let me have this. I, I worship, worship you. You are here. Any other thing? Not hang- well, not handkerchief. Thank you, sir. Everybody, lift, project out what I've given you. Watch this. This is the body of Christ. Are we together? In the body of Christ, there is a phone, true or false. In the body of Christ, there is a Bible, true or false. In the body of Christ, there is a handkerchief, true or false. So when God speaks, He speaks based on the provision that is in the body. So God says, anyone who wants to make a call, make a call. And now this guy wonders, is there ever a phone in the body of Christ? Somewhere in the body is somebody who represents a dimension of God that can help men make calls. Follow me. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? When God looks, he does not see, what's your name? He does not see brother Kingsley. He sees his body representing all the possibilities in him. So God tells you, where is the piece of paper that contains the blessings on your life? And you say, oh God, all I have known in my life is that the body of Christ has pure water. And God says, no way. Check, there is a paper. There is a dimension that holds this possibility. But that it does not happen in your life does not mean it's not here. Hear what I'm saying. Are we together? This is the power that is vested upon the body. The body is part of Christ. So this is a modem. A modem helps you to access the internet. And God says there is a possibility in me for that dimension. But because you do not know the spiritual system that can help you access this. Are we together now? You may be suffering for this cause. For not discerning what this mystery entity called the body is. Some people will remain jobless forever. Listen please. Some people will remain sick forever. (laughs) Hear what I'm teaching you. Hear what I'm teaching you. I spoke, was it last week or two weeks ago, about spiritual tribes. The system of God that represents His possibilities. I told you that our personal spiritual growth is based on relationship. But kingdom advancement is based on covenant. You must understand this. So every time God wants to reveal His dimension to a dispensation, there is a mantle backed up by a throne in heaven that is responsible for that operation. It is those mantles that are represented as lampstands. Are you following me now? They are dimensions of the operation of the spirit. So what happens is, God finds one man, enters a covenant with that man, and the covenant is such that it can authorize the spirit to communicate certain dimensions of spiritual reality through that man to that dispensation and every other person who must walk in this dimension cannot ignore both the person and the office of this man are we together so i am god watch this you are thirsty and you are saying oh god quench my thirst and god said i refer you to my body It's no longer a prayer point. Somewhere in my body there is a system that was designed to quench your thirst. But through ignorance, arrogance, the lies that we pastors teach people, are we together? We pastors come and because of our ego, we teach people that single-handedly encountering us is encountering the body. So they camp around the dimension of what we have. And do not open up themselves to the multifaceted dimensions. Let me tell you something. Every custodian of this dimension is imperfect to a fault. Now, this is usually where we are cheated. Because we are sensing that the vessels that hold this perfect gift must be perfect themselves. 
So we are looking for patterns that look like what we can appreciate before we open up our hearts. Are we together? So you get to a church and um, they may have all kinds of imbalances. Maybe criticizing a Pentecostal church or whatever it is. And they may not allow praying in tongues publicly. And when you see that pattern, it's not what you are used to. You were not trained that way. You were trained to pray and blast and roll on the floor. But the man of God has that limitation. However, in spite of that limitation, there is a spiritual possibility committed to him that if you approach that meeting with an open heart, you will still live with that grace. Are we together? Now, watch this. There are people who, who have opened up themselves to certain men of God, certain meetings, certain encounters. You can come to a church like this and a meeting like this and even be angry. Why are they, um, why are they playing instruments like this? And just because you identified with that system, certain possibilities come upon you. You were not opening your heart to believe oh, just because you found yourself in that environment. Hear me? Your life becomes accelerated when you understand the law that governs reception from the body. You may not have the physical privilege to meet all these tribes one on one, but there is a system provided for in Christ that will help you to contact all the possibilities that they have. Please hear what I'm teaching you and you will rise like an edifice. So, call this the prophetic. Call this the healing ministry. Sorry guys, just bring your hands down so you can rest. Can imagine what you are going through. Call this the teaching ministry. Call this the prayer ministry. Call this the prosperity ministry. Call this wisdom and excellence. Call this leadership. It's called the body of what? To teach that this should not be in the body of Christ is apostasy. That it was not committed to you does not mean it was not given to the body. Now, let me tell you where we preachers destroy the body of Christ. Because of our ego, and I understand, it's not easy for we men of God. So be careful. While you are criticizing us, understand that we are humans too. But then, a true servant of God must be able to have the unashamedness to hide your individualism and say, look, this is the beacon of light. This is the lampstand that I present to a generation. However, God's desire is that we open up our spirits to the multifaceted possibilities that exist in his body, not a ministry. By the time I, as a man of God who represents leadership and excellence, tries to give the body a picture that the prophetic is not useful. I, I, are we together now? So you hear me, anybody that prophesies is, is nonsense. All these commercial prophets, they are just nonsense and stupid. Now watch this. When the time comes in my life to need this grace, my hardness will stop the Holy Spirit from flowing in that dimension. Because I have refused to admit that it is a possibility that should be received. So my life is limited. For this cause, many are weak. Are we together? And so, this guy has been given the grace for wealth and prosperity. But now, this prophet or apostle knows how to speak. And then, God opens doors of wealth. So, he will look at this guy and say, all these business guys, they are nonsense. Come to me, so a seed, I lay hands on you, your door will open. He's also in apostasy and error. But any move you make that distorts the full representation of the body is apostasy. A deviation from the truth. Are we together? So, I need the prophetic. I need the word ministry for a great meeting. But I need this ministry to run generator and run and, and marry. And are we together? 
So ministry is going well and now you are ready for introduction. It's 400,000. Your eyes are clearing. You are trying to use this ministry to get this result. And God says, not so. You must find where in the body is already a provision. It will require humility. But because you have made too much mouth that you don't need this ministry. Now, the ego to now humble yourself and say, how do I now read this business book when I've told everybody that all there is to break through is prophecy? If you are getting blessed, say amen. amen. There are many people's confusion that can end. Look, for instance, there may be someone sitting here now who is praying and say, Oh God, fill me with the Holy Spirit. Something as cheap as the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Let me tell you, the day of your breakthrough is the day you choose to believe the body. It's not just the day God wants. You can, the Bible says today if you hear his voice That today is the day you read that scripture and believe There are people who You know when people call me and say Man of God I, I, I cannot imagine I want to be filled with the Holy Ghost I say something as basic as that In the realm of the spirit that, that's, that's kindergarten But because you have ignored That the body of Christ can bring these possibilities All you need to do is to know that a house like Koinonia has been committed these dimensions of the Holy Spirit. You don't even have to see me. You don't even have to ask the prayer leaders to pray for you. Just find your way on Tuesday. Stay in that atmosphere and let that possibility... You may just go and... I mean, before the prayer starts, you've received your own. When the donkey... The kiss was missing... They said, let's try to look for that donkey. And when they tried, and it looked like nothing would happen, I hope you know they would have said, Kai, there is no hope of it being found. Let's go back. Just the same way you said, Kai, I feel too much. I can't rise. No. You do not know what provision in the body was assigned for the rising of people. So because you do not know, your ministry will remain grounded forever. Whereas you are hearing testimonies every day that there were people worse than you who encountered these graces and rose. As I look at preachers, as I look at churches, the privilege of the apostolic office is such that you have the opportunity to bring governmental order to a system and a territory. I can step into a meeting or travel to a territory for a conference and look at the pastors and at once I can know the spiritual dimension missing in that territory which is a reflection of how they have closed their heart to certain possibilities in the spirit. So I can step into a meeting and see excellence but men do not pray. Five minutes prayer you just see them pray and they are sipping tea, taking this. I know that they have ignored this dimension out of the body. Through their preaching, through their saying, prayer is not everything. Get knowledge, get knowledge. And because the man of God does not pray, he has created a theological explanation to justify his not praying. And the members have followed suit. So I look at them, lean and hungry. I know they are weak. When they talk, you don't hear that echo that comes from the prayer life. There is, there is an unction that only prayer can deliver. Bible study will not bring it. When you hear a man speak, the, his altar resonates through his voice. I'm not talking of a husky voice. I'm speaking spiritual languages. Only men of prayer understand what I'm saying. So they come up and say, it doesn't matter. Is there excellence? Yes. Are there balloons? Absolutely. Is there a nice projector? Yes. But are there healings? No. Is there transformation? No. People come with their burdens and go back. And I look at that body. And part of the apostolic ministry, please hear me. That's why, let me tell you something. The apostolic office is not name. The apostolic ministry, you know how Anamoeba is. Biology. Basic biology. The apostolic ministry is designed such that when you enter a territory, you can assume any shape by God to let him introduce what is missing in that territory. You have to believe. That's why the true dealing of an apostle is stringent and is almost unbearable. Because your job 
is to supply the dimension of the spirit that is missing. That sometimes you yourself are not called into that dimension. But because you occupy the office of an apostle, God will tilt you for that meeting to force you to introduce that dimension. It's God speaking to us. Learn this and you will rise as if the devil does not exist. The body is still rich. The healing anointing is still in the body. It just left your church because your pastor is not willing to accept that he needs impartation of the healing anointing. Are we together? Your pastor has been lying that he's having a heavy healing anointing and is not telling in the story. And we men of God hate submission. We hate the fact that we can say, I was ministered to and this ministration opened me to this new possibility. We would rather say I labored in the secret place and God gave it to me. Meaning I am the custodian of it is a lie. When Jesus appeared to Paul, he told Paul, I recommend you to somebody in the body of Christ. Go and wait there three days. You would think that Jesus' appearing will mean Paul did not need any man again. But God still drove him. So there are people who have gotten the dimension of the Holy Spirit but they have ignored Papa Kumui simply because they do not like him and the lapse of what he represents to the body is killing them there is a lot of carnality and unseriousness because they have refused to know that there is such a provision in the body there are men who have insulted Bishop Oyedeko and do not know ah God let my people be rich no we are going to heaven they are poor they are broke the ministry can increase they have finished all their prayer all that is needed for the ministry to thrive is finances but they have ignored this provision in the body who is God speaking to tonight see let me tell you why suffer forever when the remedy has been paid for why not open your eyes and humble yourself and allow the spirit of god to show you the system he has built to tap in in the multifaceted possibilities look at me i say this with all humility there are impotent men and barren women who would die impotent and die barren forever i say it with every sense of apology and I say it with every sense of honor. The, the humility to tap the provision that is in the body of Christ. I once met a woman years ago. I think it was in a meeting quite a long time. Let me tell you, I don't know what kind of grace was on this mama. But if she prays for you for pregnancy, just go and start buying baby clothes. Because you must give birth. It's, the question now is whether it's twins or triplets. Not that you'll be pregnant. There is a provision like that in the body. Is God speaking to us? Have you heard people here look at that lady saying she made her papers? She knew what she wrote. Sometimes it's not your effort. Sometimes it's the cloud that provides certain possibilities. See that? Those who know this never get arrogant. You know. Let me tell you something. I have seen there's one man of God Outside of this country, he's Benihin's son. True son, not just fake stories. True son. That guy is not educated. That guy, you will know that this guy does not understand the system of church growth. But because he has been able to identify with what Benihin represents to the body, that guy carries a tangible healing anointing. You see the testimonies in his church, you would think he's a charm. Because he has identified that grace and that office. So let me tell you how Satan destroys us. The devil creates a system that covers away these possibilities. Are we together? Through pride, hatred for the body, resentment, and through pastors. We may be well-meaning and sincere, but he covers us. So as far as your spiritual growth is concerned, and the part of spiritual progress that an, a pastor has a mark for you, this is all he has shown you to be the possibilities in Christ. So, you have to respect what you have been given. But you know you are dying of test. You know 
you are not communicating. There is no revelation in your life. There is no prayer. There is no access to the prophetic. Now, you can stand there. Your progress is based on how much of the body of Christ you have been open to. You will see somebody will come overnight who does not even have, he has not paid half the price you have paid, but he's foolish enough to contact this guy. He will carry a grace and jump and move. And you say, no way. How can a young man be a millionaire in four months? I don't believe this. These guys are 419. Don't say they are 419ers. If you have not tapped into the provision in the body of Christ, is it not a prophet that said by this time tomorrow? Have you not read it in your Bible? Not to a person, to a nation. Israel, a nation that is a desert land till today, is still exporting food. And Nigeria, 80% of the food we eat is exported. Israel is in a desert land because there is something upon Abraham that landed upon them. Do they believe in God? No. You will imagine. Let me tell you, those who have gone to Israel, you know. Those who are helping you in the facilitation, they are not born again. When they watch Africans come and cry on the wailing wall, they wonder, Oh, Jesus, my Savior. They are just waiting for you to give them their money. They don't believe in God, but they are part of a tribe that God has covenanted with himself that they will keep seeing certain possibilities. Koinonia, are you hearing what I'm saying? I give you a guarantee. If you pay attention to what I'm saying, your life will rise like day and night. My only prayer is that you will not suspect yourself when you are rising. There is a way you rise too fast that you turn and say, ah, I hope I didn't put my hand in anything that is ungodly. I can't understand why my life is rising like this. Listen, whatever you see happening in the life of one man in Christ came from the body. It's reproducible. It, is, it has the ability to be transferred and it has the ability to be recreated if you understand the laws that govern it. People kept criticizing William Branham I didn't used to work so much in the prophetic. Here and there, one word of knowledge, everybody teaches on William Branham, and they made it look as if the guy backslided, went to hell. He's, in fact, he's, I've read William Branham's books, I've explored his materials left, right, and center, including those where there were a lot of erroneous propositions. But let me tell you something. The earth will hardly find a meek man like William Branham. Very few prophets on earth today have come near the shoes of William Branham. It's just that there was no mechanism of preserving their audios and their videos like we do now. So you may just watch one or two videos where you don't see anything. Those men live like gods upon the earth. They are the ones the Bible says the earth is not worthy of. Are we together? William Branham. Every time people criticize him, he brought error to the body. Yes, there were imbalances, but he's a man. One day I was watching his video. I think it was a retreat. Heavily under the anointing. I was watching his video and something happened. As I was looking at him, I said, oh God, but there is, we, have, we have insulted the anointing out of this man. There are, there are possibilities that are supposed to come to the body that we ignored because of our our attitude of, of that judgmental, cynical attitude we inherited from our parents that is still destroying people and churches today. While I was watching, something happened. Now, I have a lot of encounters. I live in this realm. But then, it was like, it was like, you know how you pour oil on someone, but it was such a cold sensation. Not just the sensation you have. I knew something was happening. I was looking at this man. My eyes were heavy with tears. And it's as if it's a machine going down your body. Slowly. It took maybe about 30 minutes to go down and reach my feet. I didn't know what had happened. And every time, let me teach you a secret. Whenever you have an encounter you don't understand, pray in tongues. Pray in tongues. Pray in tongues will begin to give meaning to it. Not, not pray for five minutes and sleep. I mean stand up and pray. It's like a shell. You are opening it up spiritually. And your mind will begin to receive the impulses that have been communicated to your spirit. I began to pray. And the next meeting I would go for, it was, it was, like, it was like somebody just washed my eyes with water. And all of a sudden, 
I saw that there was a heightened prophetic dimension, a heightened ability, and I said, wow, something happened. I believe I've not even started tapping into 100 of that impartation that I got. So I'm still aligning more. By the time I align fully, my life will release the full potential of what had come. Because let me tell you, mantles depend on certain atmosphere to work. Um, I can receive a mantle, listen, I can receive a mantle, but if my mind is not developed, I will limit the access to that mantle finding expression. Are we together? So I can function and you may see me. You can carry the anointing upon my life and produce more results because the anointing is coming on a body that has been better prepared. Moses was his camera, so he could not manifest the prophetic anointing on him so much. But when that anointing now came on 70 people, they could not stand. That's what one man was carrying, yet he didn't prophesy. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Say after me, the body of Christ has been vested with every dimension required to represent God. Say it again, the body of Christ has been vested with every dimension required to represent Christ. Are we together? Now, it's, your, it's up to you to choose what dimension you desire to see in your life. A very shared a testimony, her family, who at this time of Nigeria's economy will call you to send money free. That is not happening in your life does not mean it's not happening. Let me tell you, there are people, this is the happiest year of their life. I can tell you that. Now, it's always insulting when results are not happening in your life and are happening close to you. So you react to it with criticism, you react to it with resentment, but the key is to find out what are you doing. Someone sent me a text and said, um, Apostle, I want you to confirm this. It's like the love of men is waxing cold in the body of Christ. I said, that's an error. Go and think again. The church is rising powerfully. You are the only one going down. Find out what you are not doing. People are praying more than ever before. Oh, come on. Revelation is coming upon the body more than before. Don't come up with your misguided thing that the church is going down. Who is the church? Don't say the church. Say, I, as a member of the church, is hot. Like you can say, I have headache. And then the body can come together and help you. And say, it is true, you have headache. Let's bring you out. Don't use your headache to say the body is sick. Because let me tell you, the church is rising. What I'm teaching you will change your life. Look at our, our brother, this gentleman. Come, sir. You're the person who gave that testimony? Come. This guy came from Benway State. All the way. About to destroy... Come, 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 come. How are you? This guy about to destroy himself to commit suicide. Are you seeing that now? If this guy committed suicide and died, what do you think will happen? We are going to sing. Pass will we pass from the earth and its story. That's we are carrying his grave now. Remember by what? Here lies. What's your name? Our brother James. He died. It's a warning to all of us. No, no, no. I'm not mocking. Pay attention to what I'm saying. This guy, whereas one message. One message held the possibility of reviving his life. Please listen. I'm saying this with every sense of passion. Because we still need to press. We have stopped them. There are some of us who carry these mantles. But they are not developed enough to start serving the body. So your lack of prayer is making the body die in a certain way. This message is a, is a call to rise and develop your contribution to making the body right. Imagine if I was a drunkard. Or imagine that I started drinking January 1st because I'm weary. The message that would need to help this guy. Do you know standing here may be a pastor or a prophet to nations. So as I, as I refuse to manifest and he dies, the nation tied to him dies. 
the purposes of God for that nation died. Look at the ripple effect. Are we together? He has come now. And you can see that this guy is going to catch fire tonight. No, no, no. He will. It's not we have it. This is what I'm saying. You must know what you have as given by God. It's not for pride. It's to distribute to the body. He says, such as I have, this is, you can pray for it somewhere else because it's not part of the spiritual composition of that ministry. But here we have it. It was given. It's an office. The same way there are some things that are not in koinonia. If we need it here, we must open our hearts to other members of the body with all humility. There are some things that don't happen as a gift here in Koinonia. They happen through prayer. We pray and tap. But there are ministries, it happens like breathing. Some of you receive a lot of testimonies. If you see someone rolling under the anointing in Koinonia, you will not be surprised. Because it's an office. There are churches, if one person is rolling, the pastor says, I've been telling you that God has increased me. I've been saying this thing. Now, it's not to mock, it's not, it's not mockery. I'm saying there are spiritual possibilities. How you know what is available in a ministry is what the people in that ministry trivialize because they've seen it so much. It's in abundance. You don't pray for it. You don't fast for it. You enter this place and you are shaking like a leaf because there is a covenant that makes this possible. This is a gentleman. Now, if I'm a stupid man of God, I'm going to do two things. And this is a warning to many pastors. When this guy comes now, because he has come to Koinonia, let me tell you what most foolish men of God do. They try to say, you have gone to every other pastor. Are, are, you, are, you, are you seeing where we destroy the body now? You have gone to every other man. But when you came to Koinonia, everybody rises. And me, who is the champion you are talking about, I now rise. Those who do that, God is soon coming for them. Because that attitude is part of why the body does not grow. So, when this brother comes now, I do not isolate my impact to his life as though I'm different from the body. I just tell him, no, no, no. Whatever you receive here, I hide my individualism so that the body of Christ will be glorified. It does not matter that it is Joshua Selman. The most important thing is I have represented Christ properly. Your kingdom reigns. Yes, he reigns. Through this place. right now we are all looking at him what a foolish man of God would do is to make him hate every other man of God who has talked to him are you seeing now I can make this guy hate every other man of God in Benway State or whoever so the next time he's watching TV and he sees maybe a living faith or any ministry there what he's going to say is all of you are rubbish you are wasting our time only koinonia now it looks like he's glorifying me, but he's destroying the image of Christ. I must leave this guy with an impression that makes him love the body of Christ. Because although he found an anointed man, although he found an anointed ministry, we hide our individualism that Christ be lifted. So as he's going to Benway, I will tell him, okay, take messages, but open your heart. God is doing great things in Benway. He's doing great things in Lagos. Don't even in a city where you think there are no people. I've gone to cities where you think God is not doing anything. But there are dangerous people in that city that God is lifting. So he comes here tonight and leaves loving the body. He comes here tonight. He receives the graces and the mantles that have been committed to this ministry. But he goes back loving the body. The next time he enters a church 
where the man of God is preaching and honestly what the man of God is saying is nothing to write home about. He will understand the limitation of that man but not hate the man. So the body has risen because a man of God with spiritual intelligence has been able to minister to this. Listen, the ministry of the spirit is very important. That's why you must be thoroughly worked upon by the spirit. I can be anointed but I will still destroy him. Are we together? How many of us have been destroying the body of Christ with our misguided understanding? And there are many more who want to rise. And so God says, calm down. Before you rise, let me walk on you. And say, God, I laid hands on somebody that day and the person fell down. I'm ready to go. And then God says, tarry ye. I'm still walking on you. The body of Christ. Every one of them holding possibilities. Like you have a doctor. Doctors write certain things and recommend other people to a hospital in India. They say there is the world-renowned eye surgeon is in India. Although I'm a consultant, I refer you to that guy because this situation, I want you to go and whatever he tells you to do, we can execute it here. That's the medical field. That's why they're helping people. But in the church, I can claim I'm an anointed man now. And then I look at this guy and I say, in the name of Jesus, I cast out that spirit. And then I say, it's done. You too, you know, nothing happened here. Are we together? The man said, if I be a man of God, go and launch into new dimensions. This guy goes back and starts smoking as soon as he gets to bed with, because the spirit was there. Unmoved by the arrogance of the man of God. That's how we destroy many people. Someone comes and tells you, I have, I am SS. And he said, in the name of Jesus, it is done. Go. The person comes back and says, nothing happened. And he said, well, you see, faithless people like you, I don't know why there are too many testimonies in my life. No, no. That's a foolish man of God. A man of God who really loves God will say, look, I will keep praying for you. But I want your heart to be open. There are still possibilities in the body. So when God says all things are possible, they are not possible just because you are a Christian. They are possible because He has distributed these dimensions to the body. Is God speaking to you? Please hear me, brothers and sisters. You may be born again and still die in poverty if you ignore what God represents, the systems He has built. You are not going to create. Look. This guy will not pray himself into becoming excellent. No. His prayer life will not suddenly manufacture into this. His prayer life will give him the revelation that will make him come and meet this person. Are we together? This guy is excellent, but he's not going to heal the sick with balloons and stickers. He's going to heal the sick when his spirit is alive and strong. And that will happen when he acknowledges the ministry of this. Listen, meeting the people is not necessarily how to receive. Just being open to the body alone. Let me tell you something. There are ministries that I have received from, even more than the members of that ministry. I have never seen their pastors. I have never gone to those ministries, but just because my heart is open. I have received wisdom from people like Dr. Mike Murdoch. I've never been to the Wisdom Center. I've never sat down one-on-one -on -one under his ministration. But my heart has been open to what he represents to the ministry. He's an apostle of wisdom. Whether you say seed, seed, seed is collecting money. I take what I believe is consumable for me. And whatever part I think is an excess, I lovingly just drive it. But I don't throw the baby and the bad water. I know how to receive from ministries, I tell you. This is a message for us. And God is helping us. We are going to really pray tonight. Discerning the body. Give us that scripture again. For this cause. Not for this causes. For this cause. You have written Jam ten times. Who told you there is no way out? But sir, I always read. That's what you think is responsible for success alone. But there is a provision in the body. Do you believe this? I remember the doctor when he was giving his testimony. 
When he came and met me, he said he's going to go and write exam. I said, go and be a doctor. Listen, Korede Komaya, many of you may know him. He pastors a church in Wari. The wife of um, Bishop, um, what's his name? In Living Faith. Not Abioye. Um, Bishop Aremu. They have twins. And so she came to greet the woman. And Bishop Aremu's wife looked at Korede Komaya's wife. And he looked at her and took what the veil she was putting, threw it on her and said, what are you doing? Go and get twins, Joe. Immediately, she was pregnant with twins. She's giving birth to twins now. Now, you have been crying for twins, but there is a woman with the mantle. She's even playing with it. Go and get twins, Joe. In the body. But there are some people saying, Lord, one child, whether the child is well or not, just give me something that comes out of me. Whereas, the bo- please, I want you to take what I'm saying very seriously. I am a product of many anointings. I keep rising because I love the body. Not just because I'm anointed. I was not born with every possibility in my life. I honored my way through them. And the key is to love the body. The body may be imperfect. I know there are false prophets. But the the prophetic mantle is still in Nigeria. I know there are false apostles. But the prophetic mantle is still. I know there are money mongers. But there are still people with the prosperity mantle. Don't just because you have one or two case studies. Throw everything in the body of Christ. And you destroy yourself. Is God speaking to us? You have to change your perception. Way make a miracle work a promise. Light in the darkness, that is who you are. Sing it to him. Way make a miracle work a promise keeper. Light in the darkness. can choose the way people are trying to be established and be established at 45 and build your first house at 55 and die at 60 of high blood pressure or you can find out Lord is there a system you have created that can help men run Elijah told Ahab saddle your ass Ahab always knew that if you must run you run on donkeys so he had the best donkey but there was another system foreign to Ahab but the prophet knew it. The Bible says the hand of God came upon him. Let me tell you something. All the methods you know is not all there is. There are faster and more effective routes to anything. I have seen men, brothers and sisters, within two years of their work with God, they have carried graces and unctions that will make other people angry and say, I sought God for ten years before the healing anointing came. I don't know how you sought him. But this brother sought him in a system that made two years become like 20 years. This is the key to advancement. If God says this is our year of multiplied grace, then there is a technology he wants to give you to run. Let me tell you, we have been working, but it's time to run. It's time to run. The key is discerning the body. The key is discerning the body. The Lord instructed me to empty my account and sow it into a particular ministry. When I did that, I was shocked. It was like charm. One month of non-stop favor. Permit me to use the word wicked favor. I've seen favor in my life. The same way I have seen pastors who just came and sat down. Some of you are like that. They came from other ministries. They never go to see me. But they went back. And all of a sudden, their next meeting, things just changed. One man of God went to, I think it was Bishop Oedeko or so, and sowed a seed. I shared with you the story. Oedeko said, now that you have come, it's recognized that you have a church in your area. You know that looks arrogant, isn't it? But the man knows what he's saying. The man went back and in one service, they had 500 newcomers. 500. 500. Listen, the men of God and the spiritual structures that carry these systems 
may have their arrogance they may have their imperfections but create a system to look beyond it you know what you are finding if you find god you will find him if you are finding a loud you will find him but for you to think all you have seen is all there is in god you are joking please hear me this thing called favor does not just fall on people because you read it in scripture there are men carrying this thing bodily it's like a mantle on their head anywhere they go anywhere they go we were at the airport i was just sitting down we we're waiting for a boarding call and while we we're sitting a gentleman just came a man of god he said sorry are you apostle joshua selman i said ah somebody has come to embarrass me again and then the person you know we just spoke and he just said excuse me he just went and put money in an envelope and brought it and dropped it just like that is he working in your life some of you know why because you think it must come through your personal secret place look god has created do you know the spiritual discipline it takes for a man to carry some of these things people have labored for you so that by the grace of God and through the power of a corporate life, you can enter into certain possibilities. Trying to dig the well afresh, your lifetime is not enough to enter every dimension by yourself. If it takes 10 years to catch a particular spiritual possibility, how long do you have to live to get all of them? So God has created men. Your honor and your love for the body opens you up automatically to that dimension. Those of us who have the art of criticizing the body, you own your television and everybody, you keep scrolling channel after channel, insulting everybody. You go to church and your pastor, you look at him, saying all these Anglican people say, they are about to just keep quiet. Look for Christ and you will find him. Look for excellence, you will find it. Look for anointing, look for prayer, look for these graces and you will find them. That's what I've chosen to do. I'm, I'm like that's why I told you I'm like a spiritual archaeologist. I go around the body of Christ with my bag of treasures. When I find it, he said they are life to those who find them. That's how we found the grace for long life. That we transported like gold from Ekiti State to Koinonia. We landed it here. I know how it came. It came from a city and a territory that have a covenant of long life. 141 years still alive i said no way we must receive this our seed went for it but those yoruba people prayed for us with their with the mama prayed on barefoot when it landed on my life i knew we're coming back from yola there was so much trouble turbulence in the air they had to turn back the plane turned back from yola back to abuja because the turbulence was too much now when they carried us, I mean, it was as if we were going to drop. God is my witness. I was sleeping. Guys, the mysteries that surround my life are many. What you see is not all that there is. You try it and see. It's like Obama. You know how Obama is walking. You want to shoot him and you just die. Somebody shoots you from where you do not know. Because they are watching. The keeper of Israel. He never sleeps nor slumbers. He's watching over me. That's my testimony. The keeper of Israel, he never sleeps nor slumbers. Yeah. He's watching over me. There are men that have a covenant of deliverance with God. They will enter trouble as if there is no tomorrow. What that to say, God will show up. When you have even concluded, David was such a person, Psalm 3. Many a day, he said, how many a day that trouble me? Many a day that rise up against me. Many a day that say, where is his God? He said, but thou, O Lord, art a shield for me. Listen, it's not every man that said that. They didn't have it. David had it. It's called the covenant of peace. In the Hebrew, it's called the covenant of shalom. The covenant that makes God show up when a man has trouble. There is such a covenant. There is such a mantle. You need it in this Nigeria. You don't need to look for trouble. You just need to be a Nigerian. Trouble will come and find you. But sometimes you cannot defend yourself. But when that mystery is at work, you will see God turn things. It's like Ojoro. They say, no, no, no. But 
I know this person is supposed three causes. I understand waving one. But three causes. Why you? There is something they do not understand. More than the Senate of APU. I want you to believe this. Men walk upon mysteries. That's why two people can go through the same thing. Another person will die. But another person said, I don't know what happened. I was right at the edge of a breakthrough, but couldn't see. My troubles held me down. The pressure laid me down. God kept me. So I wouldn't let go. His mercy kept me. So I Listen, there are lots of ladies who are saying, no man has come to ask me out. I know I'm not pretty. It's a lie. It's a lie. There are married women with 10 children. And somebody is still saying, sorry, can we have dinner? It's a grace. Well, you can argue it because you went to school. I'm telling you, it's a grace. You see, this education is good, but you have to be careful. The realm of the spirit is far superior. To the intellectual realm there's a gentleman in this ministry i've never seen somebody with that grace there is nothing he does not do that doesn't prosper he has done all kinds of things if that guy sells pampas i don't mean it in a shop from his house there are no children here but you will buy it something will make you just say let me buy it and give somebody as a gift that's the kind of grace he has i know people who have their shop they sit down alone and eat everything in the shop because you have business intelligence but you have not opened up yourself to that dimension please as we begin to pray let your prayer lift you in the spirit where you stand for where you have ignored and let's cry out and say lord there is no prosperity in my life i've been trying to fake it but this thing is not there let it come do you know if it comes before miracle service, you can have a testimony that dwarfs everything. It's because you think everything you work, you work for is what you must get. There are people who have worked for things. The grace can direct them to you. For this cause, for this cause, there are women who desire men. They have six ladies. And they are about, their home is about to scatter because they are looking for a man. And the man is saying, this is your last chance. If you ever give me a girl, you are following that girl to go out of the house. Of course, that's a stupid reason. But do you know there is a woman with 12 boys? Why don't you exchange it? Who taught you that these things are not transferable? You can transfer a charge card. MTN share. But you can't transfer spiritual virtue. Who lied to you? You break your 2,000 naira recharge card and give somebody 500 and he receives it. And you don't believe you can transfer spiritual virtues? Who lied to you that I cannot impart upon you grace for prayer? The, my agreement with God can come on you. Listen, listen. Guys, I don't know how we think sometimes, honestly. I can tell you, I want to browse. I have 5,000 Naira in my phone. True or false? And I can say, okay, send 1,000. You just need to press a code. And your, your amount will be deducted. Abi? And then it will come to somebody. And he's just sitting down and his phone rings. Credited with 1,000 Naira. Did he work for it? You could share it because you are willing to share. And he was willing to accept. Who told you you cannot do that spiritually? You can transfer health. Not healing. Health. You can transfer it. Believe me. If you can transfer sickness, why can't you transfer health? Please answer me. Biology teaches us airborne disease. What's the other one? Waterborne disease. And whatever you want to call, you can transfer it. You can transfer wealth. These things are first spiritual. You can receive it. If you don't believe what I'm saying, get ready to struggle in this life. Because it's not by power. It's not by might. We have ignored God's system of making things easy for us. God is not a wicked God. If you do not walk with the body 
and this is all you have you will make God look like a wicked God because you'll be like oh God help me let me tell you the answer is not in heaven someone on earth is working in your prayer point and if only your heart will be open prayer was not just designed for petitions alone it was designed as a spiritual system to help you grow but most of our prayer life has been channeled towards pleading because we have ignored the body are we together there are people in life they may not be so spiritual but there is there is no time they cry for help the help does not arise there are people like that because their grandmother blessed them and said may you always find help she transferred something from her and it landed on that little baby who could not say amen the baby grew not knowing there was such a possibility but the baby noticed that every time i go somewhere help has arrived brothers and sisters it's a grace there are people who their grandfathers were herbalists but they laid hands on them and say may your eyes see they grew up as children from age four five they started seeing they are not born again because originally from god they were called to walk in a prophetic dimension but it was corrupted although the transference came through divination when they get born again god does not cancel it it only corrects it there is a switch of kingdoms upon which that possibility operates that's why when an occultist gets born again he doesn't stop seeing vision it only comes back under the authority of christ i'm speaking to you by the spirit there are dimensions of the spirit that are possible see this house koinonia is a great house this house koinonia is a great house there are all kinds of possibilities for your taking now you can sit down and argue it is this thing real is this possible or you can say lord i'm tired it's not this hard and um, it's, it's not this hard now for the next 10 minutes we are going to pray listen your prayer you are not asking God for anything you are just going to pray in the spirit I want you to prepare your spirit for a distribution of mantles a distribution of mantles a distribution of possibilities 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 Results are possible in the kingdom. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Listen. Listen. Listen, let me teach you something. There are pastors here. You have never seen the hand of God show up in your meetings. It's an insult on yourself. It's not, it's not about prayer and fasting. There are cheap possibilities you can step into. There are churches, there are prayer groups for years. You are four, five, you become 20, you come back to three. Why punish yourself? It's not so hard. Why don't you open up your spirit to receive? There are people, there's no man in your life to help you. You work for everything. It's a cost. Don't think you are making progress just because you have a job. It's a cost to not have helpers show up for you. There is a place called Zion. And God can send help to men. We are a ministry that has been greatly helped by God. Do you believe that? We are going to pray. 
the next two to three minutes, I want you to pray. Listen. Anointing is not just a spiritual thing that lands on your head. No. An anointing is simply an impartation that opens a dimension of spiritual possibility. Please hear what I'm saying. An anointing does not do everything. Your request directs its operation. Are we together now? You don't just say, God anoint me. It's not a wise prayer. Father, everything is working in my life for this prosperity thing. Lord, I don't see helpers arise for me. I beg and I struggle for everything. I get in trouble and pay for it by myself. There is an anointing for exemption. Lord, I see that there is no influence in my life. You know the area you need grace for. I'd like you to pray like your heart will come out of your body. Cry for the dimension you must see in your life. to pray it with fire because as you pray it God will answer it number one father the anointing for speed the anointing for speed that I will run everybody will see that this is speed release it upon me in the name of Jesus pray 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 speed
Hallelujah. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, what you are receiving in this prayer will speak. I assure you, it will. It will. Please don't think God is playing games with you. We are not serving an idol. I show you a mystery that has made and is making my life. I know what I'm saying. Prayer point number two. Lord, multiply my results. Multiply my results. Lift your voice and pray. Multiply my results. Multiply my results. Financial results. attire of masquerade. Some of us where we come from, you know men who are also masquerade. There is a language they use. When you see men who are masquerade, they say they cook them. Abi, they say they cook the man. That's why he can speak. That's what is happening to you now. That, that thing that they say they cook a man. That you come out and it will be like charm is on you. That's what is happening. The last prayer point. Or at least the next one. Listen. People hear me. Hear me. I don't know how to beg you to pray this prayer point. But you've, you've heard me say it. I'd like you to call your helpers. Listen. Koinonia, listen. Until your helper shows up, you can remain in one position for decades. Listen. A helper is not a volunteer. A helper is a man anointed to rescue you. Listen. You may die and not be able to move to certain dimensions. Until the helper arises, listen, listen. There are many families with no helpers. There are many lives with no helpers. There are people who need jobs, no helpers. Intelligence, no helpers. It's a prayer I pray every day. Listen, there is no helper that comes on his own accord. They are called. I have seen financial helpers in my life. I have seen all kinds of helpers. Any good information that can help Koinonia, they call me, man of God, there is so and so. Have you considered it? Listen, you need them to move forward. Say in the name of Jesus. Shout it, Koinonia, in the name of Jesus. Tonight, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I speak to the spirit of my helpers. Share the word of the Lord. Show up in my life. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray.
up everyone, please. Listen. We are still praying that prayer point. Hear me. I know what helpers can do. Where a man shows up from nowhere and says, I came to help you. There is such a thing. Listen. Listen. Many ladies are married because a helper showed up. Many people have gotten jobs. There are people, I have been a destiny helper to many people. I remember someone who was trusting God for promotion. And in a meeting, I met somebody who was like um, a representative of that company. And I called the person. I said, I know this person. Please, if there is any assistance they can render, honestly, out of respect for me, that guy was promoted to a position that even surprised me. Help us. Somebody needs to talk to somebody about you. You can't talk to them. Say in the name of Jesus. Whoever needs to talk about me. For my help to come. I release you to speak on my behalf. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Oh, I release you. Have this power. in now you can't bring yourself out it's not just by prayer and fasting you need a human vessel to show up we are going to pray say in the name of Jesus every mountain standing before me every closed door standing before me whoever holds the key by prophecy I call the person Open that door for me. Lift your voice and pray. Open that door. says verily verily I say unto you if you have faith as small as the monster said he said thou shalt say to this mountain listen every challenge in your life has a spirit component to it we are still rounding up but make sure you pray this prayer pray it with everything you have say in the name of Jesus every disappointment Every shame, every challenge in my life, sponsored by hell, I declare that the powers behind those problems, you come on that judgment now. Lift your voice and pray. Every power behind the disappointment in my life.
one more prayer point. Listen. There are many of us, God wants to bless you. But your heart has been closed. So you do not receive other blessings from the body. This prayer is going to open you up to the possibilities in the body. Say in the name of Jesus. I repent from criticizing the body. Say in the name of Jesus. My heart is open to every blessing, every dimension, every possibility in the body. Therefore, I call every anointing, every grace, every mantle, every unction required for my next level. Come upon my life. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Every mantle. Under the anointing, please lay your hands on your head. I want to speak to you. Don't worry, instrumentalist, you can play. Exceeding.
Stretch your hands towards me. Please. Please. I don't want you to come for koinonia and waste your time. Isaiah 48. Verse 17. Just say it, the Lord thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Stretch your hands towards me. I am the Lord thy God who teaches thy hands to profit. Listen, the hand of a man represents his labor. It's the mystery that brings abundance. I want to pray for you. Many of you will enter dimensions of breakthrough by this prophetic act. In the name of the Sabbath, I stretch my hands back to you. can stand on your feet the Bible says they know not neither will they understand please listen he told Abraham he said look eastward southward northwards he says everywhere the sole of your feet treads upon listen there is a mystery of dominion that men can hold firm grasp of territories and dimensions. I've taught you there are five elements upon which the supernatural finds expression. Number one is light. <laughs> Number two, fire. Number three, Wind. Number four, the earth. Are we together? One of the mysteries that we're using. Listen, the earth is a universal point of contact. No matter how high a building is, it must make contact with the earth. I want to pray for you. This is a very deep mystery. Very deep mystery. It's time for you to come into supernatural dimensions of influence. This is an impartation for influence. <laughs> listen, listen. When it was time, listen. When it was time for Jacob to bless his sons, he said, put your hand under my thigh. I'm about to speak to you and impart grace for influence. There is a grace. There is a grace. I pray for you. You are stepping upon the ground. I'm not speaking to you now. I speak to the earth. You have ears and you have doors. Hear the word of the Lord. I speak to you according to the measure of grace that has been given to me. I pray in the name of Jesus that every time your people are in trouble, for as long as the earth, their feet is upon the earth, let the earth fight for them. 
Jenny. Job said, Job said in times of war, you will be exempted because you have made a covenant with the stone. I pray for you. For as long as your feet is on the ground, may no man be able to defeat you. 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 I pray for you. As you are stepping your feet on this ground, go where you could not go. Enter where you could not enter. The ocean and the grace for new territory I release upon you now. I release upon you now. New territory in the spirit. New territory in finances. New territory of influence. New territory in the name of Jesus. New territory. New frontiers. I break that ground for you. I break that ground for you. Hallelujah. Listen, the last prophetic act, still with your feet. Listen. <laughs> ah, yeah. The Bible says Jericho was a fortified city. No man could break into it. The men, the Israelites, were not strong in themselves. And the Lord said, You are going to use your feet as a prophetic act to bring that city down. It says, Walk around. It didn't say, Sing. It didn't say, Clap. Use your leg and match the earth. Make contact with the earth from which you came. Seven times. Hold on. I'm not telling you to do it. And the moment they did it, the Bible says, on the seventh day, go around seven times. And then he said, after that seven times, shout. And when they shouted, the wall did not fall. It sank. I pray for you. The same way every physical mountain is connected to the earth. There is no mountain hanging in the space. It makes contact with the earth. I pray for you. In the name of the Lord God of heaven. As your feet is stepping upon this ground. Any human agent. Any spiritual agent. Responsible for the predicament in your life. If I be called of God this night. This night. I declare, may the angels of judgment, strike judgment, strike those women, strike those altars, strike those men. If they will not let you go, strike those men. In the name of Jesus, by the mystery of the earth, I smite them. I smite them in their sleep. I smite them while they are awake. May the earth strike them. I want to pray that prayer again. We are rounding up. I say it again. Whoever is responsible for the tears of any man standing here, as surely as there is a God, please hear me. I'm speaking prophetically. In the name that is above all names, that force that will refuse to let you rise, by the Lord God of heaven, that name called the man of war, Sabaoth, the avenger of men, right now, I command those altars, wherever they are, as you are standing on the ground, may they catch fire now, right now, may they catch fire now, may they catch fire now, may they catch fire now, I release your breakthrough, I release your healing, I release your miracle. Human beings have always been the carriers of God's anointings. Vessels of grace. There are certain levels of grace. You don't fast your way into it. It's an election of grace. Hallelujah. The Bible says he led captivity captive. Ephesians chapter 4. It says he gave gifts unto men some apostles and prophets and pastors and teachers and evangelists for the edification of the saints 
that they the saints will do the work of the ministry that together we will come into the fullness of the stature of the measure of Christ and he gave gifts unto men and he gave gifts unto men I have found my servant David and with my holy oil have I anointed him it's not enough to believe in God you must believe in the word that comes from the mouth of God everybody say I believe number three you must believe and receive your miracle by faith mark 11 verse 24 jesus say what so things ever ye desire when you pray he says believe that you have received it there is a difference between receiving and having he says oh i thought they projected it believe that you receive then you will have it receiving is of the spirit having is the experiential manifestation he says when you pray you must believe receive it it is yours in the now listen the bible says receive and have therefore i say unto you what thing soever ye desire what do you desire tonight whatsoever miracle you desire whatsoever breakthrough whatsoever deliverance you desire it says when you pray believe that is yours believe it receive it receiving is by faith receiving is by faith it's not a physical reality you don't receive physically you receive by faith then you will have it in the glory i will stand i will stand and i will lift my hand in the glory we receive every miracle you have for us in the glory tonight we stand we will stand and we will lift our hands it's in your glory we will receive every miracle you have listen you will never have in the physical what you do not receive in the spirit are you listening to me you will never have in the physical what you do not receive he said when you pray it is a belief you have that will be lying believe you receive and you will have it number four you must take action listen we call koinonia intimacy but not just intimacy partnership a participation with the holy ghost hallelujah it's not entirely left to god to change your situation it's not entirely left unto you the bible says listen to me that when they came to jesus christ jesus came and went to a pool called bethesda that had five porches and the bible says he saw a man who had been laid there for 38 years hallelujah when he saw that man he told him that would he want to be healed and the man was grumbling and complaining and he did not bring his miracle are you listening to me grumbling and complaining does not produce miracles
Hallelujah. And the Bible says that Jesus told him, John 5 verse 1 to 9. You can read it. It says, take up thy bed. Hold on. How can Jesus tell a crippled man to take his bed? It is the people assist him. He said, you, stand up, take your bed and walk home. In other words, if you believe me to be powerful enough, take action. Faith is not faith until there is an action. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 3. Paul, I mean Peter and John, on their way to prayer, the hour of prayer, the Bible says, and then they saw this crippled man from birth sitting at the gate, beautiful. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 4, verse 1 to 9. And the Bible says that he looked unto them expecting to receive arms. He did not know that his time of visitation had come. And Peter said, silver and gold we have not. He said, but such as we have. See, there are people that have something. Let me tell you something. Not everybody is a noisemaker. There are people that have something. It's an election of grace. At what point did Peter know he had something? Because the last time the Bible tells us he was sinking, he was not sure he had something. But now he said, uh-uh, it's not Peter. Something, I have something. And such as I have, give I. He said, in the name of Jesus, Oh, this is the inheritance of the believer. In the name of Jesus. He said, rise up. Do you know the man did not stand? He was just looking because there was no action. The Bible says, listen, this sign shall follow. It will not go before them. It will follow. The signs follow. They listen, your faith initiates signs and wonders. The woman with the issue of blood began to speak she said this is my conclusion if only i can touch the hem of his garment i don't care who is going to stop me hallelujah and the bible says peter helping his faith to work held his hands and lifted him and the bible says and he leaping stood hallelujah as the word of God comes don't sit down wondering that's the time to say thank you Jesus that's the time to celebrate that's the time to check yourself check the tumor don't say I don't want to embark no that devil that has been oppressing you as the word of God comes you receive it and you begin to take action this is the last time that terminal disease I wave you goodbye you are gone for good. Partnership. Hallelujah. How many of us are ready to receive tonight? I know that God is going to do mighty things. It's going to be very, very fast. Very, very, very fast. Hallelujah. Very, very fast. Ushers, if it's possible please start collecting the prayer request because we don't want an interruption if you don't believe prayers are answered in this place please don't write anything you will not go to hell i will reverence you lord I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. For in your presence there is life everlasting. I will reverence. I will reverence Lord. Hallelujah. Please pass your prayer request to the last person by your side. Ushers coordinate them. Let's do it quickly.
Aleluya. Please pass it quickly. So we bow as we enter the throne room. Lord, we cast ourselves down at your feet. For you are holy, thou art holy. There is none like you for in your presence that is where I must be He's healing everyone in obedience to Christ. Sin obedience to Christ. Sin obedience to Christ. Sin obedience to Christ. In obedience to Christ. In obedience to Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The one who does these great things. Tonight let no man be worthy of praise. Let no man be worthy of honor. Alpha Omega for the things that you will do in this place I give you praise because you always hear me whenever I call him he will answer me Elijah called on him and he answered him the apostles called on him and he answered them this is why i know whenever i call on you you will answer me listen let me teach you something before i begin to minister you can never be more confident than your secret place will give you are you listening to me the secret place is the place of authentic power the confidence of a believer is in the derivative of your knowledge the Bible says let the wise man not glory in his wisdom let the strong man not glory in his strength it says but let him that glory at glory in this that he knoweth and understandeth me I know that there are many men and women of God here who have come from different places to catch the fire. And this is why I'm saying this. Listen, this is not about jamboree. There is a real person called the Holy Ghost. He's not a myth. Listen, you will never be able to walk in miracles until you believe in the reality of this personality. That he can find expression in the midst of his people. Hallelujah. Praise God. Jesus saw tears and wheat. And he gave us a verdict. He said the enemy has done this. Can I announce to you that there is a devil that will not relent over your destiny until you put him where he belongs. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.
Bible says upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness and then the sons of Jacob after that deliverance will possess oh there is no possession until there is a separation between light and darkness hallelujah all the powers of darkness that have tormented you while I prayed the Lord opened my eyes and I saw a lot of torments that are keeping people where they are listen the Lord told me something he said for everyone I was talking with my sister earlier on and she was just sharing her desire to receive and I, I went to the Lord about it and the Lord said that all you need to do tonight that's what he was telling me he said if you speak it I will confirm it that's what God told me hallelujah when God told me I started writing a list of the issues I know in people's lives because I've been receiving text messages some of you sent me text messages angry about some situations and my God told me he said if you will speak it I will do it tonight I tell you the truth and I lie not believe the Lord he will surprise you tonight please listen there are some of you I must say this when we mention your case or any issue that has to do with you please don't waste the time of others hallelujah don't waste the time of others struggling and then coming very shabby very complacent we'll just jump you is that agreed because we want to see how we can use the few minutes we have to really do a quick walk in our lives hallelujah thank you jesus lift your hands as we worship you see the rain of your love feel the wind of your spirit now the heartbeat of heaven let us hear just lift your hands i didn't ask you to sing feel the rain of your love see the wind of your spirit now the heartbeat of heaven let us hear yeah. we see the rain of your love feel the wind of your spirit please lift your hands when i begin to sing let it rain there will be deliverances let us hear so let it rain or shall spring them out let it rain Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. The power of the Holy Ghost moving across this building. Yeah. I see a lot of chains, chains, demonic oppressions. The power of God is already moving, but we are going to shout the name Jesus. Listen, listen. Every time the Lord shows me this, I see angels and I see the movement of the angelic right now. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. Many of you will literally feel like electricity running through your body and those devils there is no hiding place tonight are you listening to me how many of you believe there is no hiding place tonight there is no hiding place at the count of three my god you will confirm your word everyone under any yoke any spell any enchantment at the count of three let the power of god Bring such a one inside and outside. Let the angels of the Lord move at the count of three. Are you ready to shout now? One, two, three. Oh, shake it. 
I cast out devils. Go, 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 I expose the power of darkness. Show back the Let the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost fall. Let the fire bring her. Liver, 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 liver. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost. Show back the of the Holy Ghost no man will stop you by the influence of the Holy Ghost is the fire of God it will happen to some people from outside outside the fire of God is falling and even inside but I want you to know as I begin to chant in the spirit there's no hiding place for any devil tonight so get take a part Lord let your power move every power Every force of darkness, I release the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let it fall. I release the fire. Leave them, leave them, leave them, ushers, leave them alone. You will come out by the power of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost will bring you out from your seat. The Holy Ghost will bring you out from your seat. The Holy Ghost will bring you out from your seat. The Holy Ghost will bring you out. Some of you that see men come to sleep with you in dreams and oppress you. They call it spirit husband and spirit wife. I don't care what the name is. Right now, there is fire. Lift your hands, everybody. Responsible for failure. Responsible for delay. Listen. Listen. At the count of three, the Lord showed me in a vision. This one will hit many people. Tonight is a night of deliverance. Many of you do not know this is what is responsible for your setback. I already see angels standing in front and outside. Listen, it's going to, you know you will not be able to stand it. It's a fire. Are you ready now? At the count of three, some of you will not finish shouting Jesus. Lord, I pray. You said if I can speak it, you will do it. 
I stand under this apostolic unction. Every manifestation of the devil at the count of three. One, two, three. Go for Tosha. Rekesia. Go for Yeta. the Son of God made manifest that he may destroy put to an end the power of God is still falling I tell you devils are under major attack the angels are walking don't wait till you fall down receive don't wait till you fall down has nothing to do with falling yeah was a sound that I had in the spirit. That's why I'm singing it. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Bring her. It's time for her deliverance. I command you to come. I command you to come. Don't force her. She will come by the power of the Holy Ghost. Come. Come and stand here. Yeah. 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 Listen. A scripture entered my spirit. It said, how all inspiring are your ways. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemy submit when light enters you it makes you a madman tonight is a night of major deliverance major 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 hallelujah leave her alone Stand there. Stand there. Yeah. 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 Listen. Listen to me. Everybody look at me. Please. The word of God is not a lie. God cannot be joking with you. Anytime you take your Bible, I told God my life and this ministry will be a demonstration of the book of Acts. It's the Acts of the Holy Ghost. Sir King Salama, 
It's called the Prince of Peace. Salama. Hey. Hallelujah. Leave her alone. Be still. Stand in one place now. Your time in this body is over. Your time in this body is over. Now in the mighty name of Jesus. Out of her now. Come out of her. Out of her. Sir King Salama. Out. Come out. The fire of the Holy Ghost. He make it his angel spirits and his ministers flames. Leave her now. She's free. Sarkin Salama. 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 Your time is up. This is Koinonia. The mighty name of Jesus. Come out now. Out of her. Yeah, boy. Listen. Listen. The Lord is showing me an arrow coming from outside this country. This is what affected this boy. This thing has tied this gentleman's life. Leave him. Leave him. Come back here. Come back here. Now. Sorry, everybody. Come back here. Many of you, listen. Many of you do not know that wickedness is real. You have allowed films to, to, to spoil your mind. If you don't take, I tell you, whatever is stopping, one of the things I will be doing tonight is breaking the curse of marital delay. Oh, the devil, it will answer tonight. Look at, it's already happening. Come out. Come out. This guy has a violent spirit. A violent spirit. The mighty name of Jesus. Every lecker hole you have over this body. I challenge you right now. You will leave him. The fire of God is against you. It's time for you to go out. Out of him. Out. Shall the captives be delivered and the prey be taken from the mighty. But thus saith the Lord. Let her go right now. Thou foul devil, come out, come out. So pray, take a pariada baladala. Sarkin Salama, Salama, Salama. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you what the Lord is showing me about this gentleman. This guy, listen, listen, please. This guy has a very, very colorful destiny. But do you know what I just saw? From his head to his toe. How many of you have read the story of Lazarus? That's what I saw. And he was tied with snakes from his head to his toe. This is what I'm seeing right now. See, do you know that the challenges many of you are going through is not ordinary? It's because nobody has told you. But tonight there is a God to set you free. This is spirit husband. This is what is stopping this lady from getting married. Out. Come out of her. Out now. 
in the mighty name of Jesus your time is over I'm seeing an army officer I'm army officer in the name of Jesus come out come out Shekataba out of her right now this is the spirit of lust go be gone there is no hiding I tell you something see the mistake the devil made was to allow you come in here tonight I don't care whether you are wherever if you came here tonight if except God lied to us in the Bible but if he told us the truth there will be a performance in your life tonight Sirkin Salama come out out of her right now Salama Salama Listen, let me tell you what happens in meetings like this. Some of you, because of this demon spirit, the one to start pushing you to go out or to run away, you, you better stay and let God help you. The devil is a liar tonight. Are you listening to me? Okay, I didn't finish with this guy. Watch what will happen to this brother. He's not looking at me. Oh. He's not looking at me. Just calm down. Stay in one place. I'm not speaking to him. Don't, don't worry. Stay in one place. You can't go anywhere. You come here. This is a, the head of a snake I'm seeing. Right to his foot. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The fire of the Holy Ghost sets you free right now from your head to your toe i lose you i lose you he's going to cough out something outside take him outside he's going to go and cough out something sarkin salama 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 come out of her right now in the name of jesus devil of darkness Sarkin Salama Salama There's someone that has a problem a heart problem heart problem that was your request heart something in your heart I don't know what it is the Lord is showing me please remember I told you don't waste our time please there's a lot of things we have to do this night heart something pertaining your heart if you are still thinking about it you are not the person please quickly salama 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 hallelujah ah ah see there is a lady now don't feel embarrassed at what I'm about to say you see snakes in your bathroom ladies bathroom who is that person come out come out this has been an issue you have not shared it with people snakes you are you see it who is the person please salama salama yeah you are not the only one no you are not the only one this is the problem God, God is ready to deliver you. Look, this is a family. Are you listening to me? This is not, th this is an apostolic ministry. So there is, we are here, we are a family. When God is mentioning your case, forget about what, what issue of shame. Issue of shame is out of the way. Hallelujah. What's wrong with your heart? asthma is asthma really a heart this one i'm seeing a heart problem but i'll pray for you be healed right now in the name of jesus christ be healed listen i'm going to pray for you people god is come out of
part of her now. Out. Come out of her now, devil of darkness. The time is up. Just hold my hands with both of your hands. The fire of God will hold it as tight as you can. It cannot stand. It will leave you because you are destined for greatness. Once I see it in the spirit, it must go. For light cannot hide in darkness. Aha, I see you now. Out! Go! Go! Kapotoka! Reketaria! Mambroskote! Reketeria daba! Boseketalia! Out! Come out of her! Out of her right now! Sarkin Salama! Look at me. Two things God is doing. Hold my hands. Hold it. Do you believe? You want God to set you free? Sarkin Salama! Look at my eyes. You just look at my eyes. Try to look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Devil of darkness. Go! There is no hiding. For there is a name that is above every other name. What did she come out for? The same thing? Why were you afraid? Don't be afraid, eh? You hear? Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Both of your hands. Look at me. Can you shout Jesus as loud as you can? Go ahead. Salama. You are free. Salama. Salama, yeah. Be delivered right now. I set you free. Now. Do you know what is happening to this lady? If I tell you, some of you will not believe. For every shout that she's making is demons that are going. When she's done, she'll be quiet. <laughs> now, leave her. Fire upon you right now out of her this lady has a great destiny this is a snake this is what i'm seeing this is a whole snake mighty snake the lord is against you let her go now That is above all names. Hold my hands, my dear. Hold my hands. No, I'm not speaking to her. Don't worry. Come, hold my hands. I'm not speaking to her. Don't worry. You people do not understand spiritual things. You are spiritual people here. Come, hold my hands. The demon knows what it means, what I'm saying. Salama, yeah. Salama. Hurry up, please save our time. We, we don't have much time. Salama. Hold my hands. Don't tap it. Hold it. Out now. 
Watch the way this demon will leave. Come, see. Listen. You will go on your knees. You will bow to the king of kings and go. Simple. You will go on your knees, bow to the king, and off you go. Sir King Salama. Salama. Salama, yeah. Listen, this is not jamboree. As I see my father do it, don't go and try it. You will die for nothing. This is not child's play. Hallelujah. Don't you think we're just, no, I'm not one of those ministers. I can't come and waste your time. God is too serious. Are you listening to me? Now lift your hands. Many of you do not know. Listen, please, now is the time to stand both for yourself. If you are a lady here, there is no reason why you should not be lifting your hands. marriage is a blessing it's not a curse as I, I as i talk as i talk because you see I, I see a sword of fire leaving my mouth i want to break certain demonic things many of you don't know what is stopping you and your loved ones for some of you is a row in your family many people have told you nothing just just hope one day no we don't do that nonsense in this place now faith is lift your hands hallelujah listen the moment we shout the name Jesus some of you listen you will testify whatever is happening to you here will locate all your loved ones around listen the reason is because there are ordinances of darkness that are keeping some of you. Your parents took you to places in the name of protection and that devil will not let you go. The Lord instructed me to do this. Hallelujah. If you are here or your loved ones, there has been delay. Men come, they go. Or maybe... You have a child and you're thinking you will not marry. That devil is a liar this night. Are you listening to me? So don't just stand for yourself alone. Don't say it does not concern me. Don't be foolish. Hallelujah. Are you ready now? You will see the demonstration of the power of the spirit. Kai, because see, I'm seeing blood. I'm seeing blood dripping on the ground. Let me tell you what this means. There are covenants and ordinances. This is what the Lord is showing me. But my Bible says, the blood of Jesus speaketh better things. Better things. At the shout of the name Jesus, the demons responsible for any marital delay, God, you said if I speak it, you will do it. Right now, at the count of three, it will hit some of you in a mighty way inside and outside lord let nobody be spared one two three break 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 ushers bring them out ushers bring them out break 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 Break, break, God, God, take it. Break, 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 break. The yoke be broken. The yoke be broken. The yoke, I release you. I release you. I release you. I release you. Every cause of marriage over your family. Tonight, be free, be free, be free. Don't, don't take at her, don't take at her. Time to get married. Hey, bring them out. Don't wait till you come out. The power of God is setting you free where you are. Yes, 
Yes, yes, ordinances. I'm seeing altars on fire, altars on fire, altars on fire, altars on fire. I set them. If I be a servant of God right now, I set every demonic altar on fire. It will burn tonight. I release you. I release your family. I release you inside and outside. I release you. I release you into your marital destiny. The curse is lifted. I release your sisters. I release your brothers. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. I release you. I release you. I release you. Just receive. I release you. I release you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, listen. I got a text from someone. I mean, they brought someone who was sick. Who was that person? I can't remember now. A sick person. No, they sent, I remember they sent me a text that they would bring the sick person. Please save our time for God's sake. We're still going to minister to the sick. Hallelujah. Let that lady go free. Now, devil. Let her go free now. Let her go free. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. Let her go free right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Everybody say, I receive. Yes, it's happening to you. Now, please listen. I want to pray for terminal diseases. Terminal diseases. All kinds of terminal diseases. Please. You brought someone or you came here with a terminal disease. Come out quickly. Terminal, only terminal diseases. Please, let's save time. Can we do that? God is locating people. There are some of you, God, God is already. Terminal diseases. Please come out quickly, quickly. Quickly. I beg you, if you can run, run. Save time, please. Please. As you come out here, say, Lord, it comes. I hope you know what terminal diseases are. to God. Wave that sickness bye-bye because it's going forever. I'm not afraid. Healing rain is falling down. Healing rain is falling down. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Hallelujah. Not afraid. Not afraid. 
of time. Listen. Can you just hold your hands together? If you can. I'll just minister to you at once, please. If you came here believing God, then know that it will end. Hallelujah. There is an angel standing here and there is an angel of the Lord standing here please listen when we begin to minister to the sick if we call a case and you came with the person please make sure you come especially if the person cannot speak English for our mothers so that we can hurry up okay the power of God will come upon some of you but it really doesn't matter that devil is going right now the spirit is called the spirit of infirmity hallelujah after a country you will say I am healed when that happens it's like electricity it will pass with power all around this place are you ready now one two three oh, Porto, be free Go, 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 go. Coming out this is go. Go, 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 go. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Go, go. Go. Come back with testimonies. Come back with the testimony. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, come back with a testimony. 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 I speak to you, all of you. Come back with a testimony. Come back with a testimony. Hallelujah. Say I'm healed. Go back to your seats. You can check yourselves. Please make sure you check yourself. Go to the hospital if you need. I know someone with HIV was healed. Anyone who has been, anyone with any CG, see the power of God is, is breaking from inside. Some of you are outside here, you are not receiving. People inside are receiving and they are leaving you. Listen, anyone with any academic issue that Senate has refused to answer, between now and the next 14 days, I command them to answer. Anyone who is at the verge of probation, listen, anyone at the verge of probation, I pick you from where you are and I bring you back as a student in this school. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm, thank you, Jesus. I want to pray for you. Any course you did not fail, listen, See, believe oh, any course you did not fail, but you went to the board and you saw F. I change it. I said I change it. I change it. I change it. I change it. Hallelujah. 
any man, I don't care who, who is molesting and oppressing people in, every, in any department or any faculty, whether supervisor or whoever, I instruct them to begin to favor you now. Yeah. Hallelujah. Now listen carefully. Those inside, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I'm standing out because I want those outside to appreciate this meeting. Now I'm going to pray for you. Some of you, I'm seeing chains on the head. So we are dealing with academic issues now. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to lift your hands. Many of you will feel like fire burning your head. If that, wait, I'm going to count three. When that happens to you, listen, this one will affect a lot of people. There are some of you that are first class materials. But because of this wicked thing, you were excellent in secondary school. It's not that you are bad. Let me tell you, those days will be restored. Because listen, listen, listen. I'm going to pray for you. Hallelujah. When I count three, inside and outside, with all your heart, shout, I receive. For some of you, that will be the last thing you will remember. Something will happen to you that will change your life. Are you ready now? Please, with all faith. One, two, three. Receive it now. Receive it. Take it. I restore you. Take it. 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 Inside. Inside. Take. Receive it inside. Receive it inside. Outside. Receive it. Receive it inside. Take it inside. Take it inside. At the back. Inside. The angel of the Lord is touching people at the back outside here. At the back, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Many of you will go back now and your academics will surprise you. Hallelujah. Now listen. 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 I want all of you to think about a cause that has been troubling you because I'm about to make it to bow now. Just listen, listen. I'm working as God is just just think of it in your mind just once and bring it under the lordship of Christ because I'm about to op I'm about to tell it to open up for you. Are you ready? It's already happening to this sister. Now listen, every department, every faculty in Amadubelo University, that cause that is threatening you right now, when I shall bow, many of you feel as if your head will open up. Are you ready now? In the name of Jesus, bow! 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 In the name of Jesus, bow! Bow! In faculty of medicine, bow! Faculty of engineering, bow! Environmental design, bow! Education, bow! My God. Social sciences, bow! Sciences, bow! All the faculties in Congo bow. Every other faculty bow. Anyone with a missing script. Problem of missing script. I stand tonight under this unction. And I command. Wherever your paper is. Where, except you didn't write that exam. Wherever your paper is. Just as the donkey of Kish was found, I command that paper to be found now. Yeah. Hallelujah. For all those whose assessments have been bad, listen, for this exam, for all those whose assessments have been bad, have been, uh, are bad, in the name of Jesus, I release makeup test, makeup assignment. In the name of Jesus. 
May the Lord touch the hearts of the lecturers, no matter how hardened they are. Hallelujah. All of you shout, I will excel. Say it one more time, I will excel. Say, excellence is my portion. Say, I refuse failure. Say, I refuse failure. I take you from pass, from third class. I take you into some of you are, are trusting. Let me tell you, any class you need to step up, I step you up right now. Yeah. I know some of you are doubting. Do not doubt the creative power of God's word. It created the heavens and earth. I said I step you up. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For all those whether you or your loved one they've been writing jam after jam wayek after wayek you are looking for papers it has refused to come if god be god if there is a god in this place listen those of you who are about to whether jam whether de you have papers that you need to make up i stand as a servant of god i give you the paper you are looking for Those writing jam, I prophesy. Write your last jam in the name of Jesus. Those writing, whether Wayek or whatever, to make up. And there are some of you who are about graduating, but the papers you have are causing trouble. And right now, you already have a problem at the Senate. Mercy, mercy, mercy. You must graduate. You must graduate. Let something be done in your life that has not been done in this school. God is visiting people. Thank you, Jesus. God is opening people's files, I tell you. God is visiting people. Don't stand there doubting. God will bless others and leave you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything called mental blockage or exam fever, all this nonsense that comes on people you will read and even do tutorial for others in the name of jesus that spirit that makes you to forget things in the exam hall that you will only remember after you finish right right now i cost that spirit in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus. You cannot read like a slave. I forbid you from reading like a slave. In the mighty name of Jesus. I tell you, God is visiting people in a mighty way this night. God is visiting people in a mighty way. Hallelujah. In your academics, I don't care how bad it has been. I don't care what has happened from today. Step into that, that dream you saw that your, your results has never looked like it. You have been seeing it. Enter the reality of it. Many of you have dreams. You see four points, but you write exam and see one point. I curse that devil in the name of Jesus. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I tell you, God is visiting people. Hallelujah. Now, please, everybody who is sick, you came here with any kind of disease. I'm about to rebuke it right now, please. We don't have time. Our time is fast spent. But God is going to visit inside. Are you still with me? Are you still with me inside? Now, those outside here, I want, I want to pray. Everybody lay your hands anywhere is hurting. If it's a part of your body, you cannot lay your hands on, lay your hands on your chest. Whether fibroids, whether growths, whether cancer, whether blindness, whether deafness, whether lameness, whatever it is, I don't care. If it followed you here, it made a mistake because it's going to leave you right now. 
Are you listening to me? Some of you, what you call sickness is actually oppression. Because I see that there are many ladies with all kinds of sicknesses. People think you are careless. You are not. That devil will leave you. Hallelujah. Some of you have HIV. It's not like you slept around. You too, you don't know how it came. Some of you have all kinds of cancerous growth. There are people they've told you, you, you cannot. I, I, after I finish this, I'm going to specially pray for barren people. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, listen. All of you inside, lift your hands. Lift your hands for that healing. I'm going to count three and the power of God will begin to come on sick people. Just those inside. Those inside. Ha hallelujah. The angels of God are moving inside. I see them. At the count of three inside, I tell you many sicknesses will disappear right now. The moment I count three, just take that hand and lay it where it's hurting and start receiving your miracle. Are you ready? One, two, three. Receive right now. Take it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Now lay your hands there. Receive your healing right now. Receive your healing right now. Many of you are feeling like electricity. Is the healing anointing of the Holy Spirit. Is going through you. Begin to do what you couldn't do before. Those outside now, lay your hands there. Are you ready to receive? That devil will not follow you. Now in the name of Jesus, those outside here, receive. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Growth disappear. Terminal diseases go. Asthma go. Asthma go. Every deaf ear be open now. Every blind eyes be open. If your hair and one leg is shorter than the other, let the other one grow out now to equal sizes. In the name of Jesus. Every lady problem, every woman problem, irregular menstruation ends now 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 the fire of god is burning i tell you the fire of god is burning every lump in the breast disappears now disappears now disappears now every growth in any part of your body every growth i cause that growth to its root right now in the name of jesus i cause that growth to its root right now in the name of jesus thank you jesus any pain in any area of your body i rebuke it any trace of mental disorder whether for you or for your loved ones wherever they are and if you are here let the power of god touch you now let the fire of god touch you now let the fire of god touch you now let them go let them go out 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 every kind of mental problem whether it has manifested or not out 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 go go every curse every covenant thank you jesus hallelujah hallelujah now any woman here or your sister or you who has been barring please connect now is the time we want to release miracle children right now i don't know whether they have been barring for 10 years 20 years 30 years the bible says and god opened the womb of anna listen i want you to stand you are a lady here you lived a promiscuous life and then you found out that okay some things happened maybe you lost your womb or something god is about to give you a new one right now i don't care what the problem is hallelujah praise god I want to curse barrenness and impotency, low sperm count, all this demonic infertility, whatever. I, I don't care if it has a name, it's going to answer this night. Are you ready? Everybody inside, make sure you are with me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Whether for you or for your loved ones, right now, my Father, in the name that is above all names, lift your hands. I pray. 
There are some of you, listen, some of you do not know that there are already projections of barrenness on you. It's just that you have not married yet. So don't say until you are married. The devil is wicked. God brought you to set you free. You'll be surprised. Hallelujah. Inside and outside, you're going to shout Jesus. And God is going to visit some people. There are some of you, God will visit you not for you, but on behalf of other family members. And I tell you, you will see people take in. Are you listening to me? Do you believe this? At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus and you'll see what will happen. Are you ready? Thank you, Holy Ghost. At the count of three, let your power move across inside and outside. Are you ready? This will happen to many people because there is the curse of barrenness. And standing for anybody at the count of three, shout it with all your heart. Are you ready? One, two, three. Take it, take it, take it. Take it, Supokoto, Rekete Keriata, Barriness, go, 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 inside, inside, fire, fire is falling inside, outside, fire is falling, the cause of barrenness, Tokoto Peketa, for your loved ones, every barren woman, receive children, receive children, receive children, any impotency, Whatever it is, low sperm count, infertility, whatever it is in the name of Jesus, I curse it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Please stay with me. Sita kapala koshopete, zimbato krostu palakato sepete. Hallelujah. I want to pray and prophesy. We want to talk on the issue of finances right now. Everybody stand up and take this very seriously. We apologize for the lightning. I believe that maybe some hitches here and there. We'll soon round up. Hallelujah. While this is happening, please let's have all the prayer requests outside here. Look at me. See, listen, look up. The secret of financial blessing is in your giving life. Are you listening to me? I don't care what you are doing. The secret, if you are not a giver, whatever you are seeing now is only a deceit, it won't last. Are you listening to me? I want to minister to you. How many of you know that God is not glorified in anybody's poverty? How many of you are tired of the situation of some of your family members? You know, you know what? Uh, some of your parents, one job here, two months, they've driven them away. This is a curse. The problem is that pastors like sugarcoating things. They just say, oh, it's well. There is a difference between faith and foolishness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now I want to challenge you. Everybody, please hold a seat. Bring out a seat. You know us in this place. If you don't believe, don't bring it out. I want to break the curse of poverty. Don't you think, please, I, I, if you have something, share with your neighbor. Please, please, please. Bring out a seat. Don't mumble and grumble. Just keep your seat back, please. We are a blessed people. We are a blessed people. Look at me. Look at me, sister. Look at me. Tell her to look at me. Look at me. Just tell her to look at me. Don't worry. Leave her. Look at me. Come out of her. Devil of darkness. Ah, leave you alone. Praise God. See, while I was praying for this meeting, I saw this. Please listen. I saw a particular family. This is a revelation that the Lord showed me. And I saw them around the river. Hallelujah. Around the river with 500 naira. I don't know. I'm not going to mention them so that you don't think maybe I'm talking about a church or a ministry. We don't do that. But I saw some people seeming men of God or whatever around that they were trying to do something about financial prosperity. You see that? They kill chicken, 
they killed one other animal, I think goat or something, and they were invoking things on the person. And the Lord said, save this family. I saw it in the vision that the Lord showed me. There is nothing we will do here that God did not instruct. Hallelujah. Please, if you do not have a revelation of this, give your money. You won't go to hell. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bring out something and connect it. I want to pray for you. You will lift it up. Hallelujah. Inside and outside, just lift it up. People are oppressed. Ah, people are oppressed. Listen, just lift it. Many of you, the fire will fall on you and your sacrifice. It will fall on you. See, it's poverty I want to attack. It's a spirit. Don't be mistaken about it. It's already happening to people. Everybody lift it. Please, make sure there is a seed. It will be your contact. Clash the symbol for me, please. At the clash of the symbol. Are you ready now? My father, I pray, it's your desire to prosper us. People have suffered. Families have suffered. Right now, spirit of poverty, go, go, go. Keep the offering up. Go, 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 go. For your family, I bought that spirit of poverty. It's a cause. Leave God's people. Poverty causes laziness. Poverty causes lack of failure. Lift your seed. It's your sacrifice. My God and my King. If God be God, I pray poverty be broken. In the name of Jesus, be broken. So protocoto reketekete rekoto preketeka jobless go 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 Hallelujah to me my people made a covenant with me by sacrifice. I command doors of uncommon, unusual, inexplainable, financial prosperity. Let it be open now for you and for your family. That joblessness ends now. Mm, God is visiting families. God is visiting families. Any contract that has been revoked right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, I return it back to your loved ones. The curse of poverty be broken. Don't say I'm a student. Become rich in the name of Jesus. Become rich, blessed, wealthy. I program your spirit as surely as the Lord lives. God is visiting people. Twenty-one angels standing in this place. I don't know what I'm seeing. I'm seeing it, the whole of this place. The whole of this place lift your hands because god is about to visit you some of you it's not just financial issues god will join everything and visit you as soon as i shout receive it right from here down to this row this is what god is showing me the power of god will come in a strong way lift your hands all of you in the name of jesus at the count of two just two the wind will blow one two let it blow right now. Take it. 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 Don't wait till you fall. This has nothing to do with falling. It has nothing to do with falling. Receive by faith. 
Hallelujah. The Lord is visiting people. I don't know what the case is, but when I touch you, just know God is visiting you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The angels of the Lord are pointing people to me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Aha. Now, out of her. Come out. Come out of her. Shekotopa. Your time is up. You are a spirit. Out. Out now. Pain go. Come out. Supokotopekata likata. Don't break tons get banda kriata. Lord, visit them. Ushers, help me visit them. Please help them, help them, ushers, so that they don't fall down one another. Visit them. Visit them. Zidaba. God is visiting your mother. Right from the States. Oh, no, in UK. God is visiting her right now. Hallelujah. Madam, God is about to locate you. Stand up, please. Stand up. Your time of breakthrough has come. Come and stand here, please. I don't know you, but look at me. Three things the Lord is going to do for you. Number one, God is going to change your financial story. In a way that will surprise you. Number two, who is sick? Somebody is seriously sick in your family. It's my husband. I have. It's your husband because this is what I'm seeing. This is what is sugar? Sugar. Yes, yes. What is sugar? What is sugar? I'm hearing sugar. Diabetes. Diabetes. Yes. Do you, do I know him? Have I met your husband? I'm hearing sugar. The Holy Spirit is telling me sugar. Diabetes. Is that correct? I'm going. I'm BP. BP. I'm BP. Look at me. The third thing God is going to do. Uh, are you building? Are you building? Madam, look at me. Are you? Yes. The Lord is saying that building will be completed. Yes. These three things. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Because you have lifted this seed. Many of you. See. <laughs> Father, visit her right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Visit families by the power of the Holy Ghost. Visit families in the name of Jesus. See, I tell you, I'm not going to touch everybody. But if I do touch you, just know that God has visited you. It doesn't matter what the situation is. It will bow to the name of Jesus Christ. Bring his sister for me, this one. Yes, come. Did I lay hands on you? It's time for God to visit you. Are you listening to me? Take it. It's over. Whatever it is, it's over. Right now. This fair lady, come. Please. I don't know what is it. Come. Don't see. You people should not be angry at God. God, it, I must not touch you. Do you understand? You can see that we don't have all of the time. Eh? Look at me. I'm going to end a lot of things in your life. Seven things in total. One by one, God is going to show you. Five of them. You wrote... You wrote seven prayer points. Yes, sir. How many prayer points did you? Seven. The Lord says seven things is visiting you and is bringing on. Was I there when you wrote it? Seven things you wrote. Seven things the Lord is visiting them. Lord, that is it. It ends right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Seven things the Lord is visiting you. Somebody wrote 13 prayer points. 13. 13. 13. You wrote 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 13. Who is that? Come. You are the one. Come. Was I there when you were writing it? 13 prayer points. 13 prayer points. What did you write about your father? My family. Yes. Peace in my family. Peace in your family. There is fight. Was I there when you wrote it? What did you write about the issue of money? Last week when I went home, my sister was complaining that there is... Because I'm seeing the Lord is showing me your prayer points. That's why I'm reading it to you. Was I there? There's no money. You went home. Even transport to come back. Follow somebody. Somebody gave me a lift. This is, I, I, God said I should do it to prove to you that this is not just guesswork. My God, in the name of Jesus, locate this lady. Your situation ends once and for all. Regina, 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 Regina. Who is Regina? Regina. Ah. No, Regina. 
Don't miss your miracle. You are Regina. You. No, this Regina is here. Your name is Regina. Where's your mother? She's in Lagos. What's wrong with her? I don't know. Pray for your mother. Huh? Because this is an attack I'm seeing on her. Huh? This is an attack I'm seeing on her. Be careful. Don't let any lecturer talk stories and ask you to come and visit him in the night. Does it make sense to you? Yes, sir. Does it make sense to you? Believe it. Huh? And then get into God with all your heart. Are you listening to me? I want to pray for you. This lackadaisical Christian attitude become a genuine Christian right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Grace to pray. Grace. Taiwo. God is visiting your mother. Just look at me. God is visiting your mother. Lord, visit her in the name of Jesus Christ. Right from here. Just as a point of contact, God is touching her in Lagos. Visit her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Visit her. This, this girl, eh? Bring this lady crying. Lord, end this captivity in the name of Jesus. This lady's family do a lot of diabolic things. Are you listening to me? And they have put they have put things in this girl as a medium. This girl you are seeing, she's not the person you are seeing standing here. Hmm? This girl is very old. She's not as young as you are seeing. As in, I mean in the spirit realm. I'm seeing somebody that is up to 800 years old. Hallelujah. Are you saying, look at, look at this. Bring her. This is what is wrong. They, they invoke spirits of ancestors into this girl. Come and stand here. Because they did it in such a way, listen, they did it in such a way, and this is the invocation, that no matter how much you are a man of God, you will not see it. This is what they did. Look at I've seen it. I'm seeing it in the spirit. Look at this is why this cry is happening. They, they programmed it. I don't know how it is. Many men of God have attended to this lady. They didn't see it. I don't know why. Because as I'm standing now, I'm seeing a tree. This is a tree I'm seeing. A very tall tree. Keep quiet. This lady, you see, she doesn't even know if this lady gets angry, she can beat even five guys put together. Are you listening to me? She, 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 she will, I mean, beat you and put you on the ground that you will cry. Even her, right from a small age, she has been seeing this strange power. This is not normal. I need to rebuke that. Some of you are like that. You just think it's your family. You beat all your classmates in nursery school. Beat all your classmates. In, you are happy about it. Hallelujah. I have to set this girl free. I'm seeing rings on her legs. Rings on her hands. Huh? Ring on her eyes. Even on her eyes here. Yeah. What kind of nonsense is this rubbish thing? Hmm? Keep quiet. This noisy spirit. You will go out now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hmm? Keep quiet. Keep quiet. Huh? Two of us won't be talking. You are going to leave. There is a legal access that is given to you. But the Bible says the captives of the mighty shall be delivered. And listen, leave her. Please leave her. Don't hold her. Look at me. Listen. Behave yourself right now. I'm going to rebuke this. Some, it will create a ripple effect on all our family members because they mentioned their names as they were killing chicken. This is what I'm seeing. One by one, 
they will mention their names and kill chickens. Leave her, leave her, leave her, leave her. Come back. Just leave her. She will come back by herself. This thing is more than 800 years. This is what I'm telling you. Am I wasting your time? Am I wasting your time? Leave her, leave her. When she's done, she'll come and stand here. These are demonic things. Don't be distracted by all this drama. Let's concentrate on what God is doing, please. Mama, come. Come and stand here. Your time of visitation has come. I don't know what you came here for. Eh? Your time of... What did you come here for? You are barren. Is that? Yes, sir. You are barren. How many years? 13 years. I'm seeing one and three. Mm -hmm. How many years? 13 years. 13 years. You have been barren. Your, your, your situation has come to an end. Yeah. Hallelujah. Lay your hands on your stomach. What did the doctors tell you is in your stomach? Nothing. They will do scan, nothing. But you are feeling movement in your body. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. In the night when you are sleeping, it will be as if a man wants to sleep with you. Yes, sir. A man comes to sleep yes, and it has even affected your relationship. Yes, sir. Eh? You don't even have affection for him. Yes, yes. Do you know me? No. Sir. Have you ever seen me? No. Your time of freedom has come this night. Because this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a stone. A stone inside your stomach. You used to have pain when you sleep. Sharp pain. This is a stone I'm seeing. Hmm? This thing is a demonic thing. Lay your hands. I open this womb right now. Let the womb take in. By the power of... Take it right now. All right, it's time for you to go. Now, in the name of Jesus, I challenge you, come and stand here. There's no time. See, demons can distract. If you waste time on them, they are going to distract you. Are you listening to me? All these things are distractions. Learn this. This is not just a place to receive. It's a place to learn. Many people focus. I'm not against all of but it's not necessary. We don't have all of this time. Are you listening to me? Come and stand here. Quickly come and stand here. It was finance, right? Okay. Let God solve somebody's problem right now. Listen. I release you into financial blessings. 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 Hallelujah. Pastor Jakes is going to come. Bishop Stan is going to come. They are going to speak prophecies into you. Hallelujah. I wish we had time. But as they speak, please receive. Hallelujah. They will speak and while I go up there. When they are done, we'll come and pray on your request. Can you wait a few more minutes? Can you wait a few minutes? Pastor Jackson. Okay. Please, ushers, just cast your offering. Cast your offering quickly. Ushers, all over. If there are no ushers, just be patient. Inside and outside. Please make sure you drop your money to only ushers. Hallelujah. Please lift up your hands. There's no time. Joining hands with Bishop and as we pray, whatever you desire, okay? Whatever giftings you've been trusting God to unlock in your life, whatever dimension of God you've been trusting God to push you into, as we pray corporately, the presence of God, and the oil of God will be poured upon you in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you in Jesus' name. I give you praise in the name of Jesus. Even as you have declared through your servant. Lord, as we cast this seed, may it be an end to poverty and financial hardship. In the name of Jesus. You cause doors to be opened. For every family represented here in Jesus' name. We stand in agreement and rebuke devourer in the name of Jesus. 
devour us in form of sickness, in form of accident. We rebuke you in Jesus' name. Amen. We set everyone free. Amen. Enter into your financial liberty Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Marital liberty Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me invite the ministers as we pray on the request. If you've not written your request, please write it here quickly. I want to, after this, I'm going to be inviting Uneko and his wife who are going to be dedicating and praying for their child. Hallelujah. And any other woman with child here, you're going to come out with your child. We're going to pray and speak protection after I do that very quickly. Hallelujah. Please. Very quickly. Stretch your hands while you are seated. You don't need to stand up. Stretch your hands as we pray on this request. Go ahead and pray. Father, we pray that you visit your people. Visit your people, oh God. Visit your people. Visit your people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, visit families. In the name of Jesus. Grant every spiritual blessing that your people are asking for. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. We pray that every prayer point here, Lord, is answered in the name of Jesus. We release the angels of God to bring answers and solutions to needs in the name of Jesus. Let breakthroughs come, academic blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for businesses. We ask that prayer points here about businesses, that the Lord will open up doors in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask for healing. We release the healing of God upon your lives in the name of Jesus Christ. We bring salvation into your family. The Lord visits your family in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord blesses you with peace joy in the name of jesus christ of nazareth refreshing comes from the presence of the lord refreshing comes from the presence of the lord in the name of jesus christ of nazareth every closed gate is open in the name of jesus christ of nazareth every dark cloud is rolled away in the name of jesus christ of nazareth father we thank you we give you praise we celebrate you in our lives in the name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah put your hands together for the lord Hallelujah. Please quickly, quickly, quickly. All the children, quickly, quickly. Please save time. We just have about five minutes or so and we're out of. Celebrate them as they come. If you know God will give you children. Please come and line up here quickly, quickly. Great are you, Lord. Greatly to be praised. All the earth will sing. Father, you reign, great are you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, let me pray. Please, Uneku, come up with your wife. How many of you remember them? Worship team. Come on, celebrate your own. Technical, celebrate your own too. See, they are all seated together. Is that where they met? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody stretch your hands towards them. This baby is a miracle baby. I tell you. I was there in the hospital. I didn't even know the baby was on the bed. I said, where is the baby? Hallelujah. Stretch your hands and pray. Rebuke the hand of Satan. Do it as though you are praying for your own child. Rebuke the hands of Satan. This baby is blessed. Growing normally. Daddy and mommy are healthy. In the name of Jesus.
we dedicate this child in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. This child will grow in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God and with men. We command this child to be an ambassador. We program his destiny to glorify Christ alone. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I pray for peace in this house. This will only be the first child and not the only child. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pastor Jakes and Bishop Stan, can I invite you just to come and lay hands on these children? Hallelujah. As we lay hands, all three of us will lay hands. You just lay hands. I'll come back and lay hands on them. As we lay hands on the children, we rebuke the hands of Satan. We rebuke the hands of Satan. No, let me lay hands on them before they go. We are, we are doing it, all of us. Please. Very quickly. These are instructions that God is giving. We are not just doing these things carelessly. Any child, any one child that has anything that is not of God, we cancel it right now. We cancel it right now. Eh? In the name of the Lord Jesus, may the Lord visit this child. Let his hearing be perfected. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. See how wicked Satan can be. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. These children are blessed. Where is he? Bring him. The boy ran away. Because this boy wants to kill himself. It's the spirit that wants to kill him. Where is he? I tell him to stand but he went. You see what I told you spirits. He ran away to where? Wherever he is right now. In the name that is above all names. May the Lord visit him. You will go back and you will come and testify. Hmm? I'm seeing the fire of God on him. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord visits him. You are standing on his behalf. In Jesus name. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. Uh -uh. Come out of this girl. Devil of darkness. May the Lord bless you. Madam, God is really visiting your family. May the Lord. Uh, you came out for yourself. Or for your child. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I prophesy upon your life. Please stand up, everybody. Be rounding up now. Every closed door. In the name that is above all names. I open it right now. Every door of failure and disappointment. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let that door be open now. I pray right now. Any voice that is speaking against you and your destiny, I command those voices to be silenced right now. Whatever is stopping your spiritual development, whatever is stopping your passion for God, one leg in, one leg out, I pray, I release encounters to your life. Encounters with angels. Encounters of heaven. Visions and revelations. Dramatic encounters with Jesus Christ. I pray for the spirit of prayer. May it come upon you in a mighty way. Who is this? Oh, see the boy is back. Come. Look at me. How are you? The Lord will set you free. Eh? You love Jesus. Look at me, look at me. You love Jesus. Do you like what happens to your life? Huh? Are you tired of it? Look at me. Are you tired of it? Eh? You want to be free from it? Eh? Madam, it's not this boy that is doing these things. Are you listening to me? This is a suicidal spirit. Eh? This is demonic. Because this boy is destined to be great. Are you seeing... And this is why the devil wants to destroy him. Hmm? Look at me, my brother. Why did you go away? Okay. He doesn't even know why he left. Hallelujah. 
the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that devil of darkness, your time in this boy's body is over. The fire of the Holy Ghost against you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I'm praying for you right now. Who is Bulus? It's his uncle. Bulus is his uncle. Do, you, do I know Bulus? Where is he? Hold my hands. Father, I pray that the wickedness of men will not catch up with this boy. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, my God and my King, I pray for a dramatic visitation. Look at me. Look at me. Go to church. Join a fellowship. Huh? These bad guys that are around you, they will destroy you. I cancel your appetite for them. They are, they, are trying to, they are trying to introduce you into wheat and all of this nonsense. You will not have appetite for any of these things. Hmm? You will become an obedient and a respectful child. This hardened heart this night has been replaced with the heart of stone. Salvation comes to this family. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Rahila. Who is Rahila? Do you know anybody called Rahila? What is, I mean, well, I'm hearing the name Rahila. This is your daughter? Come. How are you, my dear? Hold my hands. See a mystery. I'm going to be praying for you. But is that your sister that is going, hold, hold on, don't tell me. I don't want you to tell me. Hmm? Don't tell me, don't worry. That's your sister, dear. I'm seeing light. It's leaving you and it's entering. I'm going to pray for you, but the prayer is going to affect her. Hold my hands. I set you free right now. I set you free right now. Lose, lose her from that chain. Be loose right now. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit. There is deliverance going on in your family right now. I don't know why this is happening, but God is bringing you. Through. Thank you, Jesus. Brother, look at me. Please be a gentleman, okay? Be a gentleman. Love God. Be serious with your life. You are a healer. Okay, well, you came out. Let me pray for you. The, the Lord is not giving me anything exactly. What do you want the Lord to do for you? Ah, you don't know. I'll just pray generally for you. Go. Is that okay? Lay your hands on your chest. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I command favor to your life. I command favor. Favor. Favor is one blessing that the Lord has given us here. I release it into your life right now. Yeah. Whatever has been a challenge for you, may God speak it. Yeah. Listen, when God speaks over your situation, that's all it ends. If you are here, I didn't call your case, but you came with an expectation right now in the name of Jesus, I pray for you. May the Lord visit you at that point of your need. Yeah. Every habit here that is not of God, masturbation, pornography, all of these devilish things that are destroying people, I cast it out of your life forever. I cast it out of your life forever. It will not return again. I cast it out. I cast it out of your life. Every form of immorality that stops you from entering the dimension God wants to take you, I release grace upon you. To walk in genuine holiness and purity. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for your parents and your loved ones. As God visits you here, may he visit them. As God visits you here, may he visit them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As we step into the seventh month, may it be a time of perfection for you. May it be a time of perfection for you. 
may be a time of perfection for you. What you have not accomplished from January to June, accomplish it in July. I command promotion. I command promotion. All of you in ministry, I pray that you will see a greater anointing in your ministries. I release greater fire in your fellowships, in your churches, in your ministries. Let devils be casted out. Let the sick be healed. Let sinners be saved in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command increase and expansion for ministries here in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All of you planning for marriage, I command whatever resource you need, I release it for you. Even if the man has not come, I bring him into your life. Even if the woman has not come, I bring her into your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, inside and outside, this is an opportunity for those who have never given their hearts to the Lord. Please stand up. Everybody keep standing, please. Hallelujah. The greatest miracle that can happen in this place is that you are translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of God's dear son. You have seen the miracles and all of these things. But there are many of us that need to make a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And right now, as we begin to clap, I'll count one to five. Praise God. Inside and outside, please give them space. Inside and outside. I want you to come before the Lord here. You've never given your heart to the Lord or you made a decision for Jesus once. You made a decision for Jesus once, but you found yourself derailing. Please come out and stand here in the name of Jesus. Please, leave your seat and come out. Appreciate them. They are coming. God bless you. Please rush, rush, run, run, run. Don't be afraid. God bless you as you come. God bless you as you come. Don't be ashamed inside and outside. God bless you as you come. They are coming. Koinonia, celebrate them. Outside, make sure you don't stay back. Don't let any devil rob you of the greatest blessing. Keep coming, keep coming. Young and old, keep coming. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Keep coming. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, when I do this, Selena and my sister and their roommates, please you come and stand. I'll pray for you. Hallelujah. All of you. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands, those of you in front. Thank you so much for coming. See after me, Lord Jesus. I love you. I believe you died for me. I believe you rose again for me. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I declare that I'm born again. I'm saved. Jesus is Lord of my life. I denounce sin and Satan. From today, the Holy Spirit lives in me. I have eternal life and the gift of righteousness. And I will reign in this life. And I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that I will never be... Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye